Good morning or afternoon class. Uh, today we're going to be doing a simulation of competition, both direct and indirect. All right. Now I need everybody to be on page one with me. Take five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Before we jump in, I need somebody to read the background for me. Who's going to be my reader? Is it you? Is it you? All right, now let's jump into our scenario. All right, so on a very distant planet, there exists three species of birds. Each species is similar, except there are variations with regard to their beaks. So all these birds are very similar, very similar size, maybe color, shape, things like that. However, we have three different types of beaks on this planet. We have the knife beak bird. We have the tweezer beak bird. We have the tongue big bird. One year, an extremely rare new species of bird was discovered. The spoon-mouthed bird. All right. Now, there's one feature about the spoon-mouthed bird that we must take into account. This spoon-mouthed bird is nocturnal. It only feeds at night. All right. These other birds are diurnal. They feed during the day. So, we will be testing them differently all right now our lab you will simulate natural selection with these four species of birds they will feed in two different environments the marshmallow environment and the black bean environment for our purposes this marshmallow environment will be grass seed and the black bean will be pinto bean all right first of all as a group of four each student will represent one species of bird you will have 15 seconds to gain as much food as possible. At the end of the 15 second round, count the pieces of food that you have collected and record in the data tables below. Repeat each procedure four times. All right, so what I need you all to do, we're gonna be working with the grass seed today. Tomorrow, we will get into the pinto bean. I need you all to come up with a hypothesis about these birds. Question being, which of these birds do you think will gain the most grass seeds? All right. Now, one important feature, each species must get 10 seeds at least to survive. All right. So each round, you must get 10 seeds. I want you all to come up with a hypothesis about which bird you think will get mo the most grass seeds and why. Take five minutes to do so. Go. All right. Now that we have gotten our hypothesis down, I want you all to turn with me to page two. We're going to be working in this data table here. So, our first procedure, we're going to have to have a control variable, which is the amount of seeds that we're using. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to weigh. We're going to press zero. We're going to take our beaker off. Zero it out. Put this on. Press zero one more time. Make sure that our screen reads zero. And we're going to weigh out 20 grams. 20 grams of grass seed first. All right. There we go. Pour that on our plate. Mix it up. Then we're going to weigh out. 20 grams of sunflower seeds, all right? So we're mixing seeds to simulate nature. In nature, birds have to pick through seeds that they find. All right, hold on. We're going to mix these seeds up. So now, what you must do those nocturnal birds, the three nocturnal birds, the tong, the knife, and the tweezer, you all are going to compete to get as many grass seeds 
on your side as possible. All right. So for this simulation, I'm going to be the tweezer mouth bird. Now I'm going in. 15 seconds, grabbing as many seeds as I can, putting them on my side of the table. 15 seconds is up, and I have two seeds. I did not survive, however, I'm going to write down my findings right here. So for the tweezer mouth bird, I got two seeds. This bird did not survive. But we will do this for four more rounds. All right. Once you have done one round with the nocturnal birds, we're going to come in with our spoon mounted bird. Then we're going to compete indirectly for 15 seconds to see how many C's that we get. And boom, we're going to count these seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This bird got 17 seeds. The spoon bird, spoon mouth bird got 17 seeds. This bird survived, and we're taking note here. All right, so repeat these steps four times. Go. Go.